So for today's money making method, we have a pretty simple one, and that is to fletch diamond bolts. Now it's very straightforward. The only requirements is level 65 fletching, as well as some GP to buy the materials that will be used for this money maker. That being the adamant bolts and the diamond bolt tips. Now these do have a GE limit of 11,000 per four hours. So you may have to stock up on them. The wiki does say you can make about 27,000 per hour. Profit shows about 700k. It's going to vary depending on how much we're able to do. And of course, the prices of which we buy these at and then sell the product at. Experience gained is pretty nice if we're able to get those 27,000 done at 189,000 fletching XP. So pretty good. A moneymaker that gets you XP is always welcome. As for where we're going to be doing it, normally I do moneymakers like this in the crafting guild, but I figured we'd mix it up a little bit since we don't actually need to be next to a bank for this. So I think we'll just chill with the cows for today. Now, as for the method, it's very simple. All you're going to do is left click on the diamond bolt tips and then on the adamant bolts. Then you get this nice interface, set it to 10, and then you can either click here or hold down spacebar. And that's it. Now, like I said earlier, this moneymaker is very simple and straightforward, and you can actually mix it with other moneymakers since you don't have to be next to a bank. So this works perfectly with moneymakers where you have to collect certain items and wait for them to respawn. While you're waiting for that item to respawn, you can just make these diamond bolts and uh, get a little bit of fletching XP and, of course, some extra money. This moneymaker is very low effort for the XP and GP that it provides. So if you wanted to play another account while doing this, that is very possible. But like I say with most of my moneymakers, just make sure you do a price check on these items. I know in the past this hasn't been that profitable before because I have checked it before. But uh, today the prices were just too good to pass up. So always make sure that you do a margin check before trying out one of these money makers. The good part about this though is that these bolts are actually pretty useful. It's not some weird niche item that isn't going to sell in the GE. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. But like I said, just make sure you do a price check. That's pretty much it for this money maker though. Let's go ahead and take a look at how many of these diamond bolts we were able to make in one hour. All right, so after one hour, we were able to get almost 28 thousand diamond bolts completed and that's because we weren't even like tick perfect with it you know so you could possibly get more do a little price check on it see that they're valued at around 7.6 mil let's go ahead and head over to the ge and sell them off i was originally going to sell them for the actively traded price of 271 or actually right below that just so that they would sell faster but upon looking at ge tracker i found out that they were actually selling for 274 so we actually got a little bit more money than i expected so if we take into account the cost of supplies, it was 6,863,400 GP. Subtract that from the money we made, which was 7,602,015 GP. That gives us a grand total profit of 738,615 GP per hour. So not bad at all. We also managed to get almost 200,000 fletching XP. So yeah, not bad. Really good XP and some nice money as well. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video and thank you to all of my channel members. Once again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.